Hey guys, what's going on? Shiro here, and I hope you're all well. Today we've got a new Fallout 4 video. Um, it's been about a week and a half since my last video, so I hope you haven't missed me too much. Um, let me know what you think of this guy, one guys. Leave a like if you do like the video, and if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And everyone that has subscribed recently, thank you so much. Like, I don't know what's been going on, but my channel's kind of blown up a little bit. I've gained a lot of subscribers and a lot of views on my videos, so that's absolutely amazing. Thank you. Um, I didn't want to mention it, but I probably should. Um, my channel now can have memberships, so if you do want to support the channel, even if it's just the one pound option that there is, uh, your names will be featured at the start of every video, so if that's something you like the sound of, then um, become a member for just one quid or one dollar. I'm not sure how the conversion rate works. Anyway guys, on with the video. So first up we have the unofficial Fallout 4 patch. This mod fixes bugs and glitches Bethesda themselves never got round to fixing. Following that we have Desert Operator CBBE. Uh, adds in some really cool armor that can be crafted at the chem station. Next up is a new addition to the load order video. Uh, this replaces the other tree mod that I had previously with this one. It's a lot smaller in size and um, looks really nice and is less taxing on your console, so really good. This is also the uh, Nuka World uh, DLC plugin, so it adds the trees and grass to the uh, Nuka World world space. Obviously, if you don't have the DLC, don't get this mod. After that, we have Gunner Operator CBBE. Again, adds in a really cool armor set with loads of different customization options. Following up we have the K9 Harness Tactical Body Armor for dog meat. Makes him look like a complete badass, what more do I need to say? Following up we have the No Build Limit All DLC. Obviously if you have certain DLC and or no DLC make sure you get this specific version for whatever DLC you have or don't have. This removes obviously the build li limit in settlement so you can build your heart's content. Just be careful you don't get overboard like I used to and absolutely crash my FPS because I had too much going on at once. Following that we have everyone's best friend Dogmeat. This allows you to have Dogmeat and a standard companion at the same time while in game because I feel like he's not really a proper follower. He's more of like a... Oh, he's just everyone's best friend, isn't he? Following that we have Campsite, a simple wasteland campsite mod. This adds in camping gear that can be crafted at the chem station for very little resources and really great for immersion purposes and a nice addition for anyone who wants to play on survival difficulty as well. Following that we have see-through scopes. This adds in a 4x and 8x scopes that can be crafted and, and obviously you can see through them and use them properly. After that we have another new addition which is the M1 Garand. Another gun mod that I think fits well, really well into the world of Fallout 4 and all the Fallout games to be honest because it, it seems like it's from the era of when um, the world technically ended so these guns would have like more than likely only just been created. So yeah, another one looks really cool. Uh, again, it's level listed, you can get it after a certain level in game. After that we have the Mosin Nagant Sniper Rifle. Again, fits really well into the Fallout aesthetic, it can be crafted and also gotten at a certain level in game. After that we have the Glock 19X pistol. Doesn't really fit into the world, but I honestly couldn't find a pistol that I like better than this one. And every good person needs a good sidearm, so it will pair nicely with the Garand and the sniper rifle. So really nice. Again, it will start spawning at certain levels. I'm pretty sure it can also be crafted as well. After that we have reverb and ambient overhaul, overhauls the interiors and exterior sounds to make them sound like if you hear a gunshot you'll actually hear like some sort of echo or you know like some sort of like sound that you would expect to see here in real life that you don't hear through Fallout 4 itself. Following that we have Vivid Weathers Fallout 4 edition. This overhauls the weather system within the game making them look honestly I think a bit more realistic and adding a bit more variety to the weather system itself. After that we have Vivid Weber's Far Harbor plugin and Vivid Weber's Nuka World plugin. Again, only select the plugins for the DLCs you have, and if you have no DLCs, don't get either of these two. Following that we have Ponytail Hairstyles by Ezar. This is probably my favorite hairstyle mod because it's quite small in size and I, I do like the ponytails. It, I like the, the Lara Croft aesthetic that, we, uh, that they have, like the one in the picture that you can't see. Well, now we have CBBE All-in-One Curvy. This adds in a curvy figure for the female characters in the game. 
while also changing the armor to match the body shape itself. After that we have the Eyes of Beauty Fallout Edition. This retextures all eyes within the game to be making them more high quality and better looking and appealing. After that we have Sarcastic Jerk and Josie preset. Uh, either one is great for if you're a male or female character player. I use the Josie preset because I think it's the best looking character preset you can get for Fallout 4. Following that we have girly animation and this just overhauls the animation for the female characters and making them a little bit more girly and a little less mannish. Again, all these mods are completely uh, optional, so if girly animation isn't up to your standards, then obviously you can choose not to download it. Following that, we have Enhanced Blood Textures Basic. Uh, I'm not sure what the other version is, but I just chose this one because it, well, it does what I want it to do. It overhauls the blood textures and um, makes wounds look more prominent and stuff like that. Following that, we have the Texture Mod, which is Vivid Fallout All-in-One. Uh, if you do want to save on space, there is a 1K version, which is, I think is like half the size, but this will texture a lot of the landscape textures, trees, bridges, concrete, and stuff like that within the game. Following that, we have a new mod, which is Featherfall House, a player home. This allows you to teleport to a location in its own world space known as Stone Ridge Valley. To reach it, you must traverse the partially irrigated, long forgotten tunnels southwest of the Commonwealth, deep within the glowing sea. The entrance to Featherfall is shown on map as a long forgotten manhole. So if you do need to figure out where it is, you can just look at the map and it'll tell you guys. After that, we have Crowded Commonwealth New Locations. This adds in um, new locations around the Commonwealth, making them a little bit more crowded and feel like well lived in and stuff like that. After that, we have Plenty O Exploration. This, I'm pretty sure this opens up exterior buildings to let them have interiors as well. After that, we have Simple Bounties. I think this is a really cool one. Uh, it reminds me of like the uh, Mrs. Board that you can get on Skyrim. Obviously, it's not the same. Apologies for that. My girlfriend decided to message me, even though I said I was making a video. And she's like, yeah, let me reply to him. Let's just have a phone noise going off on that one. Again, apologies, guys. Um, but yeah, Simple Bounties. You can uh, take bounties to get hunt down robots, to get 300 caps and military grade duct tape. Raiders, 500 caps. Feral Ghoul 600, Death Claws 1000, so I think it's a great way to earn some caps as well. Following that we have Settler and Companion Dialogue Overhaul. This adds in new lines for companions and settlers so they don't say the same over, same things over and over and over, which is pretty cool. After that we have A Taste of Blues, it's another quest mod that I thought looked pretty interesting. It's a content, content pack mod inspired by Fallout New Vegas or Blue, Old World Blues DLC. You will travel to the X-49 facility, discover the secrets therein, and find some familiar and some new weapons, clothing, and items. After that, we have Placed Anywhere. A lot of people are just struggling to find this mod when searching. Just go to the most popular mods and sort it by all time, and you will find it very easily. It is right there. After that, we have Improved Map with Visible uh, Roads. Uh, this improves the map quality and obviously shows roads on there so you can actually plot out a route throughout the wasteland if you chose to. After that we have alternate start, infinite answer. My favourite alternate start mod for Fallout 4 to be honest. It's one of the quickest ones to get in there and you can just select the sole survivor option and literally start the game straight away which I think is really cool. After that we have Day of the Drunk presets Dave's poses. This is just a mod that I use for for the thumbnails when I make these videos. So this one is very much optional. I don't recommend downloading it if you're not going to be using it for making pictures. After that we have Cheat Terminal Xbox One. Again, this is just another mod I use for actually testing out the load order to make sure everything's working correctly, make sure I can craft everything, make sure all the perks are working, make sure I can get to a certain level and do certain stuff. But again, it's completely optional, but obviously this one is obviously a bit more used by people. So if you do want to use this one, obviously go for it, guys. Anyway, that is the complete load order for this. Um, I do hope you like it. It's just a few tweaks from how it was in May. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will continue to build on this when I obviously uh, see more mods that suit my fancy. But right now, this is a happy medium with it. So yeah, if you like the video, guys, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. As always, this has been Shiro. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.